Ahoy hoy everyone, it's Craig here at Disneyland for another Disney Dining Review. Before I get started, I want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us, book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get the support of an awesome Dreams Unlimited Travel agent. So head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free no obligation quote. It is Halloween time here at the Disneyland Resort and that means specialty Halloween foods, snacks, drinks, all of those and more. Anyways, Rhino's here with me too, and we are going for some savory Halloween items right now here in Disneyland, and that is gonna keep us in Tomorrowland for the most part for two items. The first of the two is here at Galactic Grill right behind me, and it is a specialty burger that feels like it has some Oktoberfest vibes coming off of it. I might be making that up because I don't remember what's actually on there, but I know we're gonna order it. We're gonna try it, so let's go ahead, shouldn't we? I was very on the nose when I said it was an Oktoberfest style burger because this actually is an Oktoberfest inspired burger. It's $15.49 and it is an Angus beef patty, bratwurst, grilled peppers and onions, sauerkraut, and house-made mustard on a pretzel bun served with Greek yogurt or french fries. We didn't get a choice and just got french fries. And as always, we don't bother reviewing those. Uh, I will be quite honest, I doubt it's house-made mustard. Like, it was probably made in someone's house, but I don't, like, when it says house-made, that means it should be made right in-house. I, I don't think Disney's grinding their own mustard seeds and making mustard. I could be wrong, but... What if somebody lives in the I'm warehouse? Guessing. In the warehouse? And then what that warehouse? would be where they're grinding the mustard. In the mustard grinding? In-house. They're just... Because they live in that house. You... Yeah. Gotcha. I'm, I'm confused. Logic. Anyways, uh, nice, thick Angus, it's previously lovely. probably frozen hamburger patty, but now it's now it's ours. The onions, sauerkraut's hanging out. Broadverse is in uh, crumbles, not as uh, not as actual big hunks of sausage on there. I'm sorry, Rhino. What'd you call me? Sorry. Okay, here we go. First bite. I hate the faces you make when you eat. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really love this. The predominant flavor of it is the broadverse, so it's very heavy on the sausage. Can't really taste mm. the patty, that doesn't really matter. Pretzel bun, I thought might be a little bit stale, but no, it's just a, it's a solid pretzel bun. Can't complain. And uh, the mustard, I feel like mustard and cheese mixed together really helps with the flavor of the broth first to like make it a, a festive October fest in my mouth. Oh God. I could have used a lot more <laughs> of the sauerkraut, but that's because I love it. I'm pretty impressed by it so far though. Rhino, let's get your thoughts. Okay. Oh God. I am so hungry right now and this looks like so sloppy and messy. It looks like it's gonna go down just right. I do taste the mustard in here a little bit. Like it's a little bit of like an after flavor for me. The first taste I got, I bit into this and immediately I am transported back to Carver, Massachusetts to the late evenings when my mother would make hamburger helper all the time. This literally tastes like a hamburger helper burger and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Fuck. Right down to the cheese, the texture of the beef, like, this is spot on. Spot on hamburger helper. I don't know if that's what it intended to go for, but I'm into it. I think it's pretty good. I, th I know what you're talking about too. The, the pretzel bun has that like, a, like nice exterior, but it's still soft on the inside here. Um, definitely the right choice for a sloppy, sloppy burger like this. I know you kids love them real sloppy. I would say that was a success. Oh yeah, for sure, for I'm, sure. It was one of those things where I was worried because when they set it on the counter, I was like, I don't know if this looks exactly like the picture because I can't remember anymore, but this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy. I'm very happy. I'm still hungry. Yeah, so we're going to continue on to part two and the final part of this dining review and that is over at Alien Pizza Planet because there is a specialty spicy pizza. I don't believe it's the first time they've had it, but it's the first time we're at least trying it. Yeah. And I don't have the details, so once we pick up our pizza, we'll let you know. We'll give you the deets. 
So the specialty pizza slice that we went with was the Supernova Pizza Special, uh, which was $8.99 for a not gigantic slice of pizza, but it has a spicy blush, blush sauce, which I have no idea what that is. Italian sausage, classic and crispy cup pepperoni, mozzarella, and pepper jack with red pepper flakes and Fresno chilies. Ours also had one slice of what appears to be a hot dog on it. So, um, right here. I don't know, it's not in the description. Maybe there was just a really thick piece of pepperoni or something. But also, I don't think these are the cupped pepperonis. These are just regular pepperonis. The cupped ones are those ones that like, you know what I'm talking about? And then they make little pools of sauce on them. All right, I'm going in. Normally I put red pepper flakes on it, but I'm holding off for a second. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. It tastes like a normal pepperoni piece of pizza. I don't really get any of the other things except for the slightest hint of red pepper flakes with it. Um, and it's, it's a fine, it's like not, I mean, I don't know that I ever eat pizza at Disneyland, so I don't have anything to really compare it to, but um, yeah, I don't, I think for $9, nah, nah. I put a ton of red pepper flakes on this for my second bite though. Just looking at this, there is nothing about this that like makes it seem special because like I can't even distinguish pepper jack cheese on there. It just looks like a normal slice of meat lover's pizza with the exception of these red peppers that are on top here. That's those, it. Those are the That's Fresno it. chilies. The it. Fresno chilies? Well, a chili's a pepper. So shut up. <laughs> shut up and let me enjoy okay. my pizza. Let me enjoy my pizza while you lecture me about what food is. The chili on top definitely does have a little bit of a heat to it. And I guess I do distinguish a little pepper jack on there, but beyond that, everything just kind of blends together. It makes me think of an elf when Will Ferrell walks into the one coffee shop and he's like, it says like world's best cup of coffee or something along those lines and gets excited. So then he eventually takes Zoe Deschanel there later on a date. And it's like, here, try this. She's like, what do, you, what do you think? She's like, it's a crappy cup of coffee. <laughs> like, it's world's best. It's kind of like, I. This that was long and rambling for me to say that yeah. this is kind of like a, a crappy piece of pizza. <laughs> like, yeah. I think it's you like, just it's said mine. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mine. Listen, I wanted to paint a picture. Happy Halloween. You just got a piece of that little mini hot dog. Cocktail weenie. Rhino, did the crushed pepper help at all? Uh, I mean, it definitely made it spicier. My problem is, uh, it was a very doughy piece of pizza. Yeah. And yeah, I, I don't feel like it really delivered on a lot of like any of the things it said. I mean, I'm not, it, yeah, for nine bucks, I don't know. Nah, spend your money, better things for nine dollars here. Yeah, I mean, with Halloween snacks and stuff, especially that Oktoberfest inspired burger that we started with. Yeah. The that, much better of the two. Yeah, 100%. And, and you can do what we did, literally just like cut it in half, split it with somebody so you can keep trying the other stuff. Exactly, and uh, that's the best part of Halloween time at Disneyland, besides, you know, on a mansion holiday and other specialty snacks and fireworks and Oogie Boogie Bash and all that. It's the decorations. It, yeah, it, besides all yeah. that, it's really the <laughs> Besides savory all tweet. of those things. Yeah. It really is the best it thing. It is. It absolutely is. So that's going to do it for this Disney dining review. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, questions, and video suggestions in the comment section. If you want to support us more, book a trip through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. That's it for me here and me. And we will see you again real soon with another Disney dining review. Bye.